Welcome to this NMP flight video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look at the route proposals feature. For this demo, I'm going to take the British Airways 426 Papa, which has a 39 minute delay. Click on the call sign, which opens flight management. And when flight management opens, you see the text of the flight plan in the editor. The route is plot on the map with any regulation for the flight. In the case of an en route regulation, you have the option in the results to select the tick box so that the proposed routes avoids the regulation. The show the full route catalog option is the subject of another vid video tutorial. I'm going to click on Propose Routes and the execution can take up to 30 seconds because it runs four processes in the background looking for routes. In this case it's quicker and the results are shown in the table and on the map. There is a color code used on the map. The color code is the same as the nautical miles in the table. Uh, in this case, green, all of them are green, which means that the EET and nautical miles of the route proposals are better than the reference route, whereas the fuel cost and route charges are worse. If you want to look at the field 15 of any of the route proposals, you can click on the icon and it will open a new row. For each of the route proposals, there's some route actions. There is uh, an information pop-up to explain them. You have the copy field 15, which copies the route of the proposal into the clipboard of the PC. And you have copy flight plan, which copy and pastes the route into the editor above. Validate does the same as that. It's copying the route and pasting it above, but it's also executing a validate. So I'm going to take the top route, which we have calculated as it's the best overall costs of the proposals. And I'm going to click on the validate. Now that has validated, it's shown the result as valid. You'll see that there is no CTOT or delay now for the new route. And I have the options to apply a reroute or send a change to IFPS. The apply reroute is the subject of a separate video tutorial. The action that I took to avoid using the tick box in the background had automatically filled the avoid measures in the proposed route criteria. This criteria can be changed by you. If you want to uh, go via an airspace or via a point or avoid airspace, avoid point, there are many options which I'm not going to go into in this particular video. If you want to know more about those options, please look into our in-depth help package for information on all of the options. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.